needed help are now suing the Utah Teen Treatment Centers that they were sent to, claiming that they faced isolation, humiliation, and abuse. KSL investigator Daniela Rivera has more on the lawsuit filed today, and the lawmaker focused on more oversight of these facilities. I had depression, anxiety, I was, I had ADHD. A lot of trauma, including previous assaults. Various forms of self-harm. The teens were sent to the Vista treatment centers in Sandy and Magna sometime between 2003 and 2019 for a variety of reasons. The facilities claim to treat anything from anxiety and depression to eating disorders and substance abuse. But in a lawsuit, 26 former residents say their experiences caused lasting harm. The suit points to punishment for minor offenses like calling home to complain or wearing a ponytail without permission. The consequences, humiliation, ostracization, and isolation. You're actually just isolated in a room. That's the big thing was isolation. Publicly humiliated in front of the group by the therapist. And they would all just shame me. This woman who asked KSL not to use her name says that led to abuse. In the lawsuit, she claims she was 17 when an employee took advantage of that isolation to groom her for sexual encounters. People like him were only able to thrive because of the environment that Vista provided. She says the man was let go, but the lawsuit says therapists and other employees blamed her and no one called police. They would encourage the girls to literally bully me and just tell me about how horrible I am. Jesse Homans says Vista didn't tell authorities about what happened to her at age 16 either. The lawsuit claims she told employees that a man had sexually assaulted her on a plane heading to Utah. I was treated as though I had seduced him. The lawsuit says Vista therapists shamed victims of sexual assault and forced them to talk about the specifics in group sessions. They told KSL investigator Annie Knox their time there haunts them. Cold sweats, having had nightmares about it. Many, many, many months where I was too scared to even like leave my room. I have nightmares um, almost every night. I can definitely still get panic attacks. An attorney for a Vista therapist named in the lawsuit told KSL the claims are without merit, saying we do not know of any situation where a therapist subjected any student to improper treatment or abuse, and all treatment was appropriate and in accordance with all applicable professional standards. This isn't the first time Utah treatment facilities have been in the spotlight. Paris Hilton called for change last year after describing her experience at a different Utah facility. Utah lawmakers passed reforms requiring more inspections of treatment programs, limits on the use of restraints, and guaranteed weekly calls home without employees listening in. I think it's important for Utah to lead out on the reforms because we are the biggest state when it comes to congregate care programs. Senator Mike McKell is looking at more changes to come. I think there have been far too many problems and I think the reform is absolutely necessary at this point. It needs to be stopped because I don't want anybody else to be hurt. The KSL investigators checked with the state to see if there were any licensing violations against Vista. The Department of Human Services told us the facility reported an allegation of sexual abuse by an employee in June 2020 and took appropriate action to resolve it. DHS called it a severe crime that appears to be an isolated incident and said there is no other violation or incident in their history that rose to a criminal level. Mike Andini, 